Cynthia. And I'm Chris. And we're the Hanye family. And for those of you who are new here, welcome. Let's enjoy some great music together. Yes. What do we got today for our Goonies? Today we are going to check out the Saints. Okay. We've checked out a couple so far from them. We have. And uh, we were interested. I mean, I think the second one was a little kind of lackluster for us. Yeah, I think so. Uh, But, uh, you know, we're always willing to give them several chances because, you know, it's great music. I know the first one was very interesting for sure. Yeah, it's definitely an interesting band for sure. Yeah. They are, I remember comparing them a little bit to like Bob Dylan-ish stuff. Mm -hmm. I remember that kind of thing. I forget who else we mentioned, but... You'll see what I mean, probably. It's been a bit, yeah, if it's the same way. If it's similar. And we got two songs here. We're going to do a song called This Perfect Day. And the other one's going to be Know Your Product. Yeah. Now, these are requested by Once Was Our Strathfield, Dog in Space, and David Mooney. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we have the two videos. They've been merged together. Thank you to whoever did that. I believe it was once was our Strathfield. I think it was. Yes, it was. So um, we are going to get into this one. So this is The Saints with Perfect Day and Know Your Product. We all remember stuff there for Rita Coolidge and we're all alone. Covering just outside the chart is a band from Australia currently in this country, The Saints, and this is called This Perfect Day. was very punkish it was very punkish i like how he made everybody realize that he just wasn't singing for real (laughs) he just picked up the microphone which was a condenser mic by the way and uh kind of flipped it around i was gonna (laughs) say he seemed like not him particularly but the rest of the band seemed bored for for yeah like in their performing yeah they seemed a little bored especially guitarists he's just like And I think, obviously, that must be because they weren't really doing it on stage live, right? That's Top of the Pops, if I'm not mistaken. But fantastic song. It just, it was very punk, very different from the last one we checked out, for sure. For sure. One moment. Sorry about this. There we go. That's better. Yeah. I think he's rebelling. Yeah. He's (laughs) like, you guys are doing too many videos tonight. That's it. That's it. I'm done. I it's need the last play. one, little one. It's okay. But anyways, mm-hmm. yeah, the first one we did of theirs, I kind of, I mean, the last one we did of theirs mm-hmm. wasn't like this. It's, no. It was a lot less punky sounding and a lot more almost folky. Kind of, yeah. 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 
That's kind of where I got almost a, I don't know, I can't even explain That's it. why the Bob Dylan came out of my mouth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, this is not that. It almost reminded me of The Cure a little bit. Like, mm, mm, I don't know. Not I, this one. <laughs> oh, okay. I was going to no, say, because I don't like no, the, the Cure the at older, all. The, the, the one we did last. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's why, for me, it just, yeah, I don't know, it just didn't flow right. And it's not that I, look, we haven't done enough Cure to say whether... It's just an idea. The stuff that the I cure. don't like from the Cure is the stuff I've heard of theirs so far. Yeah, that's so what far. it seems to be for me too. Except for a couple of songs, uh, I, I had a hard time with the Cure for a long time. And yeah. I, there's a few songs I thought were interesting, but so very little. Yeah. Uh, so if you guys have any Cure songs that you want us to hear, that oh, you think we'll just well, I mean, I we have to give everybody a chance. Yeah. So if you guys have some Cure songs that you think would be really good. And that would make us not feel like we do about it. <laughs> then please. That's a challenge. But we should finish this one up. It's pretty Certainly, darn good. We're yeah. going into the second song, right? Yep. Well, they no, set we up really talk. nicely too. So let's uh, get into this. This is The Saints once more with Know Your Product. <laughs> Hello, Hello viewers, viewers of Countdown, Countdown. We're, we're Chris Bailey, Bailey of the Saints, and here is our new single called Know Your, Your Product. <laughs> That was good. 
And this is the funniest thing. This band clearly doesn't stick to a genre. No. At all. No, not at all. Because that one was slightly punky, Mm -hmm. but then it had the horns and stuff that just brightened everything right up. Everything sounded so cool. Oh, my gosh. Practically madness. (laughs) Yeah, sort of. (laughs) Except punk. Mixed with um, Iggy Pop, mixed with, I don't know. It's just so fascinating. I like this band. I really enjoyed the horns for that. Yeah. It had a great groove to it and really good stuff. Yeah. Both these songs are really well done. No kidding. And they're both different, so different from one another. You know what I mean? For sure. Just even his vocal styling on... The first one was very, very different from on the second one. Hmm. You know? Yeah, for sure. I well, like that. The kinda, style of kinda it, the, I mean. Kind of the talk singing. That, uh, yeah, but he did a different style of vocal. Yeah. Like it sounded different, way different. Hmm. Like he was putting on a, a voice. You know what I mean? wonder why they were dressed as vicars. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Just asking. But what a fantastic band. Mm -hmm. Like both songs were different and they were both different than the last songs we checked out before. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I like this band. They're fascinating. Definitely Mm. interested in doing more of their stuff. Yeah, we definitely want to hear more. Yeah, because that was really great. It was good, for sure. Yeah, I like the second one way more than I like the first one, but I like them both. Yeah. You know? Yeah, me too. I'm in the same boat. Mm, excuse me, but the horns win. Yeah, for sure. Every mm. time with me. <laughs> Every time there's horns, it's like, yep, that's the one. It really works. It always seems In to In this work. case, anyway. Yeah, it works quite well most times, I think. Mm. Oh my gosh, my cat is being very cuddly now. now. Anyways, <laughs> thank you very much for that request. It was definitely appreciated. Mm-hmm. Please don't forget to check us out over on Patreon. It's $3 a month and we're adding things there all the time. Also, we have a P.O. box interested if you're, I mean, sorry, we have a P.O. box if you're interested. All the information's in the description of our videos. You can always send us something for our wall, things like that. Yeah. Um, Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and become one of our goonies. Share with your family and friends. Click that notification bell if you don't want to miss a video. And don't forget to enjoy yourself. Later. Later.